Hey friends, today has been a good day. I have actually been sick for a few days and I have not really been able to do too much. I forced a few videos out and were probably really boring for you guys because I was not feeling good, some kind of stomach thing. But today we're making some ATCs and this is like a totally messy ATC background which I want to show you guys how I made. Um, you can just mount this on cardstock if you want or by the time you're all done and with it it'll probably be stiffened up nice so just want to share this process with you guys because I know a lot of you guys love ATCs like me. I have a total huge collection now that you guys seen my vlog that I barely got across because I wasn't feeling good but I was trying to um, entertain you guys a little bit. So anyways, I have tons of these, um, con oh wow, the words are not coming out, composition books. When I'm doing art journaling classes, this is what I do my art journal books um, from that I make and I glue the pages together and get prepared for the girls. Um, this year we're doing canvases, but this I still have tons of these and this is what I often like to use for um, art journaling. Or I mean um, ATCs, just it's scrap, it's leftovers from the front of the book. So they usually sell three books together. So this is three and a half inches this way, and I'm going to make my line. Um, so yeah, you can do it on scrap paper, and this is what this is. It's just recycled, I guess, reused for something else now. Now it's not the cover, and um, you know. Um, you get to do that with it. So I'm going to have, where's my card? Here, a card. So I'm going to have like the cards go along here and just checking out. And then I have a couple of cards that are going along here. So this is going to be three and a half down this way. And just to use up as much of the paper as I can. Now I'm just going to mark these at two and a half because that's what, the size that needs to be. And then I'm going to have a little bit of a leftover piece. I'm sure there's probably a better way of puzzling it together and I probably have done it that way before, but um, it's just me doing it my way. So yeah. I'm just going to make my lines and trying to make them as straight as possible. ATCs are really fun because they're just a mini piece of you that you give or share and swap. And I love that. So just love ATCs. And you can also mount them onto a larger canvas and, uh, you know, show them off, which I often like to do. Not that these lines have to worry about um, cutting them or whatever. I just like to see nice lines. So I'm just like mapping out like uh, what four, five, six ATCs here to use up this paper. You can use anything, backing of anything. The back of your notepads, whatever, right? So, that's what I'm doing with this. Throw that on the side. So now I have these six, and I hope you guys have a decent view. I'm going to move you back. I don't know. I have my ice cream pail lid here with paint that I was playing with with the other one. So I'm just going to flip it over and use this paint almost as mud because I'm just going to stick it on. Now this one's really red so because that's what I used last for um, my splotches and whatnot. Just using leftover paint really and don't care about the color. If it's dark you just lighten it up with uh, some more visual texture. And if it's light, you just use a darker one. It's 
So I cut the edges off, so this has got to be like, you know, the whole piece. And whatever shows through is just adding to that color. Really, really nice. Um, now I'm just going to draw some of this off. Actually, I think I just lied. I'm not drying it off yet. I forgot that I want to add some more texture. Now, this is where I was saying I'm going to use it kind of like a paste. I'm just throwing some um, random book paper in here and throwing my paint on. If it's gooey enough, I think I'm going to check. Oop. Layers. Layers. That one's kind of uh, was double jointed to the back. But yeah, you can just totally use it as like a modeling paste is what I'm doing right here. And it's leftover paint. So and you scrape it a little bit over top so you can see some of the writing. And that's what I almost missed. I almost missed this. It is just something fun to do and a little different. And like I said, just add a little bit more paint, throw in a piece of paper, scrape off some of it just to see see through enough. This one it kind of bugs me because of this edge here, but I'm just going to rip it now because it was kind of stuck with that glue in the back of the book. I'm going to rip it off. There we go. There we go. It's off. Now, I have some text in there and you can see it. So I'm going to dry that. So this was just leftover paint and I didn't even need glue because I totally pasted it into the paint. And it's just for fun. Try what you like. I'm throwing some white on there. And I'm going to use my old tape rolls. I think I need a new color. And I'm just going to... Um, Grab some tissue down here, kind of get some of that paint off. Tissue is always handy to have around. And that one's dry, so that's good. So then I'm just going to go with this and just kind of make my circles just with this old paint, uh, I mean uh, tape roll thing, and I'm not trying to do anything too fancy. Just using the stuff I have. This is a washi tape one, so it's a different size. Pretty cool. Um, I did use this on the last one. This ginormous um, bubble stuff, bubble wrap. Whoa! I got some. Now I'm gonna have to make more stuff because I just totally ran that. So I'm going to get some of that on there. I'm not even worried about it drying. I'm just scraping and plopping. And there we go. Now look at that. So I'm going to draw this. Now this is a little darker than I probably should have put on there. So let's see what I can do here. I can grab a Card and maybe even just go a little white over the uh, dark paint because I may want to stamp or ink up on these so it's not going to cover it totally but you can see through it but you still got that nice um, rub mark from the card that scrape mark which I really like there very cool. I think I'm going to add some orange just to have a pop of something. Just an alcohol uh, spray from uh, Markers. Dry that up. It might not show because I mean, I'm planning on adding, um, dipping this a little bit here. I'm planning on adding some gold. See, there's another little texture, you know. Just. Oh, that might be a little darker than I want, but hey, it's not the ends of the world. Okay, I'm going to dry that up. So now, 
this is how it's looking. I'm going to grab a piece of like cardboard from a scrap here from a box and I am going to add a little finger dip of gold to the bottom. And I'm just going to go around and totally get gold everywhere. It's got to be one of my faves, you guys. I don't know if you guys have a metallic or like a pearly color that's one of your faves. And it just lightens up, it just totally brightens up your project and almost cancel, like, cancel out any kind of imperfections you have because it's just so pretty. Yeah, that's my, that's my thing. So now i got that done and this is what I have. Isn't that pretty? Now it's a little darker than, you know, to stamp in the background or, but you might have like this one, may, I might choose to put some uh, cut out birds on it or something like that, you know? So let's see what's going to happen here. I'm going to dry it up. Okay, look at that. It's nice and dry. That's the scrap paper. Now recycled, reuse, re better. So I'm just going to cut along what I measured for lines, you know, mapped out there for that. And I always double check the size because sometimes I realize that somehow I crossing my legs the other way. Oh, my knee. Somehow I seem to always get fat cards, like fat ATC cards. And then when my friends try to put them in their pockets, they're like, oh, don't fit. See, every time. So I always check that. So check your cards, double check, because I do that. And then these little pieces are so awesome for, I got other ones, strips on like say another card or index card or something. So totally usable. I know, it's like really weird, but we use everything. We use everything. I swear my friends think I'm crazy, but you know, don't we all? I think even some of you might think I'm crazy. But no, I do. I save pretty much everything. I think everyone... Oh, well, maybe. Not everyone, but a lot of people do. And it's just so amazing what you can do with stuff. So, save these little strips. I mean, if you're not going to use them after like a long time, you can get rid of them. But hey, you can even stick them in to look happy mail. And make at least one card with using them to show what you would use them for. When I give Happy Mail a lot of time, I will, um, times, I will uh, give them something and people are like, what do I do with this? And I'll have an example of what I do with, with it. So sometimes I do that, especially if I have uh, a package, then I have more room to do that with where I can just send it out. But yeah, so you don't want fat ATCs. There's nothing worse than a fat ATC and it can't fit in its pocket. Yes. Nope. There we go. So now you have these really awesome, if you're like me and you can't measure <laughs> and something goes wrong every single time, you have these little strips for something. Yes, because I did it with my last bunch too. And I don't know. I, I moved them to the side or something. But yes, that's what that's for. It is purposely done just so then I can use it in further projects. Uh-huh. Okay, pausing this for a second. Okay, now I have a question. How do you people, some of you people, wonderful crafters, keep so clean? I have to pause the video, take uh, two minutes to scrub my board, and you guys make it look so easy. It's like, oh, oh, mess. Oh, squeegee it up. Like, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm like stopping, scrubbing, cleaning, bleaching. No, it's not that bad. But anyway, so these are what I come up with. <coughs> Excusez-moi. These are what I came up with with my doing it this way. It's more of like a scrungy um, leftover paint look. Grunge. Grunge ATCs. Let's call it grunge ATCs. Now we have an awesome, look, look at this, look at that. Can you see that? That's great. This one's great. Um, so now we can start working on these. These look fat. They look fat. Oh, look at that. 
Chunky Monkey HSC. You have been too yummy. Too much yummy on you. So I'm going to cut that off. And I am in a really weird mood, guys. So I'm really going to have to apologize. I don't know what's gotten over me except for that I'm better. And I'm weird. I get hyper and it's been a while. And like I said, I haven't been able to craft because I have not really been that sick where I haven't been able to craft even in bed. I just like, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. That's why I didn't have any ends. I'm like, I must have put them somewhere. No, I didn't do them. I did not cut these. So anyways, I got these. Look at that. I got these because I can't measure. Lucky me. Who knows how many more ETCs I could have stuck on that paper because <laughs> I can't measure. Anyway, that's that. There we go. We, we, we. Bend them out. Except for this one looks chunky monkey. See? I missed one. Chunky monkey. Oh gosh, I have to tell you this chunky monkey thing. I have no idea where it came from and if it's even a saying, but it's a when Cora was little, she used to come up behind me, even Kendra, and grab my butt and chunky monkey. I have no idea where it came from. It's horrible. Because <laughs> that's that horrible. You don't want your kids going up somebody and like chunky monkey. But anyway, it just reminded me of that because it's there. So, this is it. Now, I'm just going to grab a fun stamp for these guys. And these guys are going to get like a nice, I don't know, bird maybe to go on them like this. Something like that. Something a little different. So, we will have to come right back. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to use two stamps that I know of. As of this point, I'm going to do Delight in Life. And I feel like really buggy today, so I'm going to use one of my insects, cartoony insects. And let's see here. Hmm. We have a, f what's that called? Dragonfly. There I go with my, <laughs> I can't speak. Speak no English. Oh, a little fly with a f leaf. See? Can't speak. We might do two. We might do... Oh, this one's a little bumblebee. I like that one. And the spider. So, which ones do I do? Hmm. That's too cute. They're too cute. How can you decide? I'm okay, Kate. For decisions. This is crazy. How do I make this decision? decisions. What I'm going to do is grab a card. Oh, I have to unpack it out of the box. This is no fun. Come on. I have my other cards in my bedroom. I was almost going to do something in bed yesterday. Almost. Oh, it's in plastic. Isn't there a card that's not... Okay, well, this one's a jack, but I didn't want to use that. Let's see how big this guy is. So you can have, like, a little... Uh, card on the side to see. See, too big. You can't see much. Oops, I'm in here. Too big. So this one's not going to suit it because it's just too big. It would. You, you can make it work, but my big one is this one, and I think I'm going to use either this ladybird. Ooh, ooh, so cute. Love ladybirds. Ladybirds are the cutest little bugs ever. And a fly. <laughs> okay, flies? No, not so much. Ladybirds, adorable. Bumblebees, cute. Okay. Okay, let's do bumblebees and ladybirds. So I'm going to do this one kind of in the middle. The light and life. And I'm hoping that this is going to... Oh no, what the... Hey, somebody's got my pad. This is not good. Aha! Anyway, all right, one of the kids moved it. It fell, apparently. So this is my stamp pad. Messy, messy, messy. But I like to do um, stamping on this. It gives me a better stamp usually, especially if I have a little texture on there so I can kind of push my... I hope these are straight. Push my... a little bit down. 
uh, stamped image and it gives it a better look than on a flat hard surface so especially with textured backgrounds a bit and this is not overly textured if it was overly textured uh, get out of town it's not going to work really like realistically it's just not going to work So, this, see the L in the bottom there? It's, you know, kind of like this. It's, what's that called? Uh, sketchy. But it's okay. Hey. There we go. Delight in life. Q, Q, Q. I like doing ATCs with stamps as well as I like making my own stuff for them. I mean, I got these stamps really good deal second hand and I'm going to use them there's no harm in, in flaws in using stamps if you can get a good deal on them but and sometimes they're nice and I love when they have something written for me because I write like <laughs> messy there you go <laughs> to that and laugh so I'm going to throw that back in there now I'm going to do the little bumblebee with the star right up here she could be a little darker there we go no more ink on that puppy but you can even do it like anything silhouette so you don't have to use stamping for everything but I'm just doing a very quick um, ATC that looks cute ladybird And I know I'm kind of rocking it a little bit because of the texture and you get kind of chance getting the if you got ink on the outer edge but it's a grunge card anyhow so it's not going to look too bad now you can just ink the edges and think about what else you want to put on there add more color maybe so let's work with um, I like this one here let's work with this one and I'm just gonna add some color now I have some inks oh they're very Nice. I have them in here in my fanny thing, my jiggy. And they are these wonderful, wonderful bright colors. So I use them often for things. And I love the, um, I keep these little brushes so I can use them with them so I have these little dollar store brushes that I used for them and I do have makeup sponges in here as well so I'm just going to add some do I have my blue brush this one I think I have um, a makeup sponge for blue but isn't that nice it's going to add a little spunk of color And I'm going to add a little bit of maybe purple since I have it out. But not very much because it's kind of not what I want. Um, a little bit of green. So that's what I do. I pounce a little bit, kind of scrub a little bit. Add some color to this baby. Now these colors are from, there's a Studio G and there's these pigment colors. They're, they were like in the $1.50 bin at Michael's and they make the card really cute and pop. Now if you look in comparison, it's just a little, oops, little something. 
layers and everything. I mean, I know you can do even a better image onto a something and fussy cut it, but I just want to show you guys a quick little way of doing that. So I just I think I just showed you this. I finished this one. It's just got the stamp, but I want to show you guys throwing another one together a little differently with like a bird with uh, scrap uh, paper, scrap looking paper, scraps, and the scrap of that paper here that I just did. And just, just uh, adding the bird embellishment in that, and that's another way, but you know, it looks really good. And I just highlighted it in the pink and then as well with the black. So, just to show you guys, that one's cute. So there's different ways of doing it. And this is just, here's the other scrap paper here and I'm just going to tear it to get to fit. Again, uh, scraps are just easily used and found to do all this stuff. May as well use them up. You're throwing them out anyway, so may as well use them up so you're not throwing out or, you know, cutting out fresh stuff. And a little bit of black, just to give it some shadowing on the edges. And then you can doodle over it and use your, your watercolors or whatever, your stibetto, whatever, pencil. I'm not saying that right. I don't have one. I want to get one. And then you just throw your bird on there. Yeah. If you can actually glue straight. <laughs> if I can glue straight. And then you, just, you can back it up with a card stock or more scrap paper, but there you go. Another one. Ink up the edges. You can even put a little border on here. And punchinella border. Just really play with it. Now this was just leftover scrap paint and um, if that's such a, of a word, <laughs> scrap paint, but paint that would just get wiped away. There's that one. And it was on scrap paper. A good way to use up your, your paint and a good way to use up your scraps. And if you're, you know, like me, like to make your embellishments when you're kind of bored or don't want to do a big project and you have lots of embellishments around because you're like, can't stop because they're addictive and cute, then you could use them on things like this. So, yeah. So that's that, guys. I hope you like these um, two different types of ATCs just with scraps. And like I said, these are odd colors in the background, but it turned out pretty good for the project, even though it was weird background color choices. Um, it's just colors that you might not t totally use um, normally, but yeah, it works. So give it a try. Make some easy ATCs. Let's gonna throw this on here. And just play with it all different ways. <clears throat> You're never gonna like really mess anything up and waste anything because this is like I said, if you're using um, just leftover stuff, paints and whatnot, you can just totally do that. You can even have this paper on the side and just rub it like you know how you normally rub off your paper. Well, you have one just specifically cut out for the ATCs. Look at that, a different, different design than the first one here. Then you could just totally just put all this slop it on. And then you just put the lighter color in the front of top. You know, you lighten up the top, highlight with gold. And then you can really put some stamps on it. Or you can even stamp it on papers like this. And do your thing. Do your thing. You can even go over that a little bit. See? Very light. 
with the black and still not have it too white. So guys, give it a try. Make some grungy paint scrap paper ATCs. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Hey guys, I added a little stamp in there, flower stamp and some doodling, so I thought I'd just share that. But if you guys like my video, give me a thumbs up, please share, and I will see you guys next video. Talk to you later. There's another one. Bye guys. Shh.